Okay, I forgot to turn the sound off on my end. That's my fault. Bleep, bloop, 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 bloop. But uh, you guys listening at home can now tell exactly why Rachel and I don't want this piped directly into our eardrums. Uh, Scott Murphy! He's one of the two guys from Andromeda. Mark Crow is the other. They are the two main minds behind the Space Quest series. Oh, here we go. Light years from Earth's solar system. The people of the galaxy Ernon have been struggling to maintain the precious balance of life. Aren't we all? The sun of Ernon is slowly dying. The planets grow cold. Superman is sent to Earth. Food is no longer plentiful. Life will soon become impossible to sustain. The scientific community of Xenon devised a plan to convert one of Ernon's lifeless planets into a new sun. That sounds like a terrible idea. It never ends badly. Mm. Con! <laughs> The efforts were centered around uh, the development of a device called the Star Generator. The Star Generator would be capable of igniting an otherwise useless planet into a raging ball of flame. What a creative name. They should have called it Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> an expedition set out aboard the starship Arcata to successfully develop complete development and testing of the Star Generator. The Arcata is now returning triumphantly to Xenon with the fully operational Star Generator. Huzzah! Woo! You serve as a member of the crew of the Arcata, as a janitor. That's right, a janitor. And not a very good one. <laughs> you would probably have been sacked and replaced were the Arcata not millions of kilometers from Xenon. I, I, I'm feeling very Dave Listery. Uh, as we join our story, you have just completed one of your famous on-shift naps in the janitorial storage closets. I don't get what the problem is. That totally sounds like what I would do. Alright. First name. Well, his name is Roger Woko, so we're going to stick with Roger. Okay. What would you like to name him instead? No, no. Roger, Roger. Roger. Okay. Roger. This is your chance. Nope. He can be Tutu Maker. Oh. Roger Tutu Maker. Roger. His first name is Roger Tutu Maker. It's, it's an alien society. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Oh, wait. Red lights are flashing. You are, what look like. you are startled by the sound of an alarm system. It is followed by an urgent voice, which warns that the Arcata has been boarded by unknown intruders. It ends abruptly. Well, this isn't good. I mean, I'm just worried that our eyes are red. Uh, well, he's what been... What were we doing in that closet? Sleeping. Mm. Totally sleeping. He was not huffing anything. No space ganja. So, uh, we are now aboard the Arcata, which is awash with evil aliens who at any point can show up and kill us. None of these saves are mine. <laughs> Dear God. I don't know, I don't remember where I got this from, but, uh, con robot and nave. That's interesting. Must be Italian. We're just gonna call it Jeff One, because that's my normal way of naming something. Mm -hmm. See, don't include me in the naming process. I get it. Irreplaceable. That's true. I'm just filling in. Well, at some point I'm supposed to- Oh no! Where'd this guy come from? A large laser hole has been burned in his uniform through which you can see previously unexposed tissue. Struggling painfully, he raises up on one elbow. Uh, it's Dr. Light! He tells you that the Arcata is under attack and that the star generator's in danger. You had better leave if you value your life. We're, we're a janitor. Shouldn't we be cleaning up these dead bodies? Yeah, I gotta get my mop. There's blood everywhere. He looks over towards the shells full of cartridges and utters the words, Astral body. He then settles to the floor, lifeless. Who uses cartridges anymore? Well, this is the future. Hmm. Ugh, astral body. Oh my god. This is the problem with the original Space Quest, is finding exactly what it wants you to do. Uh, he told us astral body, and I'm assuming he wasn't hitting on us. Your body is out of this world. Baby, your body is astral. I think that would work. That line has never worked for me. It's worked for me. You and I are totally going out to a club later. <laughs> I got to see this. Get cart. Aha! Yeah, don't spell it out. This is the future. You abbreviate everything. We don't actually have time to look at the cart, though, because we evil aliens are going to kill us. Clean up some dead bodies. I am saving a lot on this ship because the aliens are somewhat randomly generated. Now, the, the game is usually nice enough to warn you when they're coming. Usually. 
But why take chances? Make sure that guy's alive. You search the body of your crewmate and find a key card! Which you did not automatically take. Welcome to Adventure Gaming at its beginnings. Can you type fist pump? Fist pump? Yeah. I don't understand fist. <laughs> oh, you we're will. we're adults. <laughs> yes, I, I've made her the customary gaming fries, and she is devouring them at a voracious rate. I forgot the fact that I would need my hands free in order to play this game. <laughs> I'm not going to feed you. No, it's okay. I can hold the plate up to your face. <laughs> I, and at that point, the people at home would wish that they could see what was going on. <laughs> All right. We'll we, we got the cart. I think our next goal is to get off the station. We didn't encounter any of the bad guys yet, which is weird. Just lucky, I guess. Because if you encounter them, they show up. They shoot you dead. Search that guy. All right. Maybe a lot of pictures of his family. You search the later. Your search of the laser-riddled corpse reveals nothing. This man owned nothing. This man is a disappointment. That's why he's dead. Those look like nipples. Three of them? Three nipples. Total recall. <laughs> uh, let's see. Look at console. We got some buttons here. Open bay door and close bay door. Do we know if it's open? Well, you, 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 I don't have a mouse to point at it, but you can see the bay door through the window in front of him. It's... That's a window? Uh, push, open, bay, door. Whoop! Ow. That does look like space. You think you hear footsteps. That's the aliens. So you retreat the screen away. and try again. Oh, God. What if we don't retreat? We die. No. Oh. The alien observes his handiwork briefly, then leaves. As you lie on the floor in a smoldering... Carbo gelatinous heap. You can't help but wonder why you bothered getting up this morning. I don't know why we did that either. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably and doomed all of your people to a horrible death at the hands of the Sarians. If you continue playing as skillfully as this, we'll never have a chance for a sequel. Better luck next time. Well, I feel better about my life choices. So you want to go play Smash Brothers or something? Yeah. yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why I was saving frequently, and uh, we're going to try and avoid dying the next time. Oh, search that body. <laughs> Maybe he'll have something this time. Could happen. Randomly generated. Looks like you know what you're doing. I've been here before. In another In life. Room. Oh, God. Run! Run! But if he's coming from that direction, I don't you know? don't question it. Okay. Son of a. This is not fair. We should find a gun or something. There. See, the footsteps really are random. Alas, it does not open. You have adorned the door with a small circle of nose grease. Were you Carl Malden, it would have gotten ugly. Sorry. Use key card. You slide the key card into its slot, you hear an audible click, you take the key card back. At least we didn't have to type in take key card back. Yes, it, it was nice enough to do that. They did have the technology. Let's see here. The console is adorned, they like that word, with many status indicators. One button on the right is marked airlock. It's a good word. It's got horns in it. So we're just going to walk straight into the airlock after we've opened the bay door. Oh no, you're not walking. You're strutting. You don't see a problem with my plan? No. Walking directly into the open bay door. Uh, aren't we like capable of breathing in space? Oh. That concludes your experiment involving the effects of total vacuum on the human body, Roger Tudumaker. Well, I guess we're not Batman. Now only Batman can breathe in vacuum. Even the Lego games verified that. He can breathe in space. Ugh. 
Uh, you gotta find the right commands. Push button. Look at button. Push all buttons. There are two buttons here, a left button and a right button. Oh, I know what we have to type now. I like it when that works, and it did not work in this case. What am I picking up? Get gadget. Wow. Wear spacesuit. Get spacesuit, really? Get spacesuit. Hey, look, he automatically put it on. And he hung up his clothes nice and neat. I'm naked under this suit. Haha. <laughs> well, how else are you going to get into space? Look at console. Button marked platform. It's nice that he only reads the labels of the buttons that we need. There is now an escape pod here. Do we have any idea where we're going? Off this ship. Mm. The pod door is already open. I just. Oh, I guess it's on the other side. See that little. You should get on the driver's side. We're not in England. We're in space! How do we know we're not in space, England? Well, I mean, it's kind of confusing with the red light. We have autonav, power, and don't touch. Ooh, don't touch. This is why I brought Rachel along. There's no effect now. All right, well, we'll turn on the power first. Now we're going to not touch it. Fine. Safety first. We'd hate for the space police to show uh, up and tell us that we can't go anywhere right now. All right. Now, pull throttle. It's <laughs> <laughs> stuck and escaping. Close door. Oh, God. Can we leave now? <laughs> Did we pull, have to wash the windshield? Full throttle. Call your mother for she worries. Yes. Uh, uh, I think we're moving. The escape pod moves slowly, and then it, it told me too fast. Congratulations, you have narrowly escaped an explosive death. Don't start patting yourself on the back just yet, though. You are now traveling aimlessly through the cosmos. And if I forgot to do anything on that ship that I needed to do, we will not be able to beat the game. Hmm. It's a good thing space isn't infinite or anything. All right, now we're going to try pushing the don't touch button. It said don't touch. I warned you. I do what I want. Oh, this looks familiar. Ken, <laughs> did you hear something? It was probably just the Gators e entertaining another Space Quest player. Go back to sleep, Berta. Because Ken and Roberta Williams live in Daventry. Nom, 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 nom. Through a strange quirk of fate. Or was it? You have stumbled into a place beyond time, space, and dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you now since you are playing Space Quest. I'm really glad that I know what King's Quest is. This helped me understand this reference. I am now Captain America. <laughs> Why are you Captain America? I understood that reference. No, okay. Push. On. And we're also in this very patriotic space shuttle. Uh, okay. Um. The monitor flashes. You study it to see what new information is being displayed. Beep boop, beep boop, beep. Yeah, I can't imagine how awful this sounds. My Corona. Na 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 dun da dun da na na na. The autonav <laughs> system has locked onto the small planet of my Corona, and the pod has begun its approach. Nothing to do now but hang on. Hang on to your butts. This is the totally professional sound of me opening a sun kiss. Can verify it is sun kissed. Totally pro. <laughs> After a skull during landing, you peer through the shattered viewing port out onto the desert landscape. A feeling of utter desolation settles in you. You're in a fine mess now, Roger Tutu Maker. <laughs> Thank you. Masterfully Thank you. done. Take a bow. I'm eating these fries now. Oh, as you should. I hope we can breathe. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> I remember to Make take sure my belt to open out. the door, too. Uh,. Or I could get the survival kit. We have a survival kit? No one told me there was a survival kit. Look around. Uh, look at pod. 
You're inside the escape pod. It appears that the more fragile devices were damaged severely by the landing. A survival ah. pack has broken loose from somewhere. From somewhere. Somewhere. Very specific. They require that you're specific, Get but it. aren't specific themselves. No, of course not. Open kit. This is your own survival kit. It does not belong to anybody else. It is yours. It contains a Xenon army knife and a can of dehydrated water. I would rather have a Xenon army knife. Also known as a chakra. Are you done yet? No. Okay. I can keep going. Uh, let's see. I want to. I want to get my army knife because just because I know it's there, I still have to get it. Oh, get knife. It's not available though. Get water. Open kit. Mm. There's an army take knife kit. and the water. I but, already have the kit. But take it and make it yours. Inventory. Let me make sure that we've got it. Oh come on. I okay, I, I do have it. Oh, so this time I let you grab it. Yeah. The door has been permanently opened by the impact of landing. We are now on the surface of the planet. Comb the desert. <laughs> we ain't found shit. <laughs> no. Got a lovely pink sky. Get glass. Uh, look. There's supposed to be a piece of glass from the windshield, I'm pretty sure. What do you need that for? Because it's an adventure game, I need everything. Hmm. What about window? Ah, he picked it up. I don't know how I was supposed to know it was there because I can't see it on the screen. Yeah, it's totally there. It, that's why. You ah, have, there. The window was shattered. You have to comb the desert. <sighs> All right. Are you, are you going the right way? I certainly hope so. There's no indication. I'm just. I'm really hoping... Hey, look! I found a dead end. That looks like the wrong way. Well, maybe I can walk down. I was about to point at the screen, which doesn't really help you guys. <laughs> Rachel's now putting food to my mouth. Oh, look! Greenery! Is it real? Is it fake? Are there dinosaurs? Only time will tell. This looks like the Savage Lands and Chrono Trigger. If Ayla shows up, I'll we are totally happy. playing that game. Yeah. <laughs> Best game ever. Roger Tutu Maker and Ayla in Space back trigger. to the Uh-oh. Oh, that does not look good. Suddenly you see a large black metal sphere falling out of the sky. A Sarian spider droid. Is this like the Wild West movie? Wild, wild west. Yes, we're going to have to depend on Will Smith to beat this thing. Mm. Upon touching down onto the planet's surface, it sprouts legs and begins its search for you. You recall from an article in Space Piston Magazine that this droid is designed to seek out organic life forms and self-destruct when contact is made. We must have been reading that while we were sleeping in the space closet. Sleep reading. Now, uh, Space Quest is very unique. At least this one and the third one, because there are two different ways to solve the issue of the spider droid. Almost every adventure game from the early Sierra series is very straightforward. Do this, do this, do this, do this. You have options here. Uh, and I'm going to just try to, to beat the thing, and we'll see what happens. I hate options. Spider droid, spider droid. This looks perfectly safe. Oh no, there it is. Um, the thing cracked. Oh. Spider droid, spider droid. If one of the solutions, the one I've never done, I think is dropping this rock on that droid. Hmm. It's so clever. Can you push the rock though? Are you sure you can push the rock? Are you strong enough to push the rock? I would say the answer is yes. It lands with a pleasant thud. And the spider droid laughs. And we die. This is not my favorite. I really like the alternate method, but since I've never done this method, I, I at least want to see if I can. You should push the rock. I'm sure Dwayne Johnson would love beating a giant metal spider. It's the kind of thing he lives for. I would watch that movie. 
And I think we're now starting to see why I've never solved this puzzle this way. Yeah, this is riveting entertainment. Rachel will now entertain you with a song and dance. Aww. That was Rachel entertaining you with a song and dance. You're welcome. All right, so we're going to go with the way that I've normally beat this. All right, so we're going to try and beat this. I like the other way better anyway. We get a nice picturesque view of the Pepto-Bismol sky. This path goes on forever. You know, as long as we live up here, that droid can't do anything to us. Yeah. It's a spider that can't climb walls. Let's just set up base here forever with our army knife and our dehydrated water. Uh-oh. Is this where our Stargate forms? <laughs> The heat is causing you to develop quite a thirst. A drink of water would certainly be most pleasant. Don't tell me what to do, game. You place your lips to the nozzle and draw. I should have Rachel oh, say yeah. this for all you fanboys oh, yeah. at home. Tell me more. Oh, do I have to do this? Come on, give it to me nice and slow. <laughs> if you ever get paid for doing this, this is where I get my stipend. <coughs> you place your lips to the nozzle and draw. A fluid, not a very reasonable facsimile of water, is released slowly. While tasting slightly terrible, it quenches your thirst, at least for the time being. I need a minute, guys. All right, minute's over. Whoa! Stargate! Mmm, <laughs> the cave is oozy. Actually, this cave looks a lot like... Not gonna say it. <laughs> no, no. We gotta keep this PG at some point. Do we? So I picked up a rock because I saw it, and that's one of the issues with these older games is if I didn't know I needed that rock, I never would have imagined that I could pick it up because it looks just like everything else that's going on around Are you here. I'm gonna put it on that cleafing volcano. Is that what I should do? You think I should just walk over there and put it on there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just gonna walk right over there. Oh, oh no! Tentacle ray. I will say that. <laughs> I'm going to say 75% of it. It's the last 25 they get you tentacle for. Tentacle raids. <laughs> You've been snatched from existence by a tentacle beast lurking beneath the grate. You feel the painful sting of digestive fluids. Why would I feel that if I'm out of existence? It's the last thing you feel before you leave existence. It's existence. Ooh, skitter, skitter, skitter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, had that word been invented? It had to have been. Oh. Geyser it gets. It's a geyser. I never would have got that. <coughs> I'm dying. It's okay. Oh. Look at all these holes. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a nice little drink of water here. Which hole are we going to go into first? Drink fluid. You gaze intently into the purplish pool of liquid. The first real sign of moisture on the planet. The pool seems to have no bottom. The gentle dripping has a soothing effect on your frazzled nerves. I wasn't frazzled. Don't tell me what I am, game. Drink the pool. I think we know what's in that pool, don't we? LSD. Okay. Well, it's probably the same stuff that's been dripping from the ceiling here. Which I'm sure is perfectly safe. I don't you know. You should just lick the wall. Lick the crevice. Yeah. She said that. Can you pick up that rock? I don't think so. You can't obtain that here. Well... Alright, Rachel, what am I supposed to do with this? Go through it. Really? Yeah, nothing bad's going to happen. See, look, you're fine. And Resident Evil. You are now <laughs> laying on the floor in many pieces. Guess those beams meant business, Roger Tutu Maker. Business beams are the worst beams. All right, so how am I going to get past the beams? Jump. Not in a Sierra game. Do a triple somersault. He's a janitor. I don't know what he does in his spare time. They haven't told me. I can't spell. Oh, I get it. 
you have quite cleverly turned the beam upon itself, frying it into inoperability. Now you're playing with lasers. Oh, I thought you were going to say power. Nope. Lasers are power. I was all ready for the Nintendo reference. Nope. I got a power glove over there if you want to wear it while we play. Mm, I don't know what you've done with it. The ladies love a power glove. It's true. I'm sure this is going to be perfectly safe. I'm just going to walk, and nothing bad happens. See? Perfectly fine. Do to do. Does it look like a oh, no! Oh. A drop of searing acid which bores its way to your feet, through your head. That sounds quite unpleasant. Do to do. And look, I got three points up there in the corner for walking. For avoiding pain and suffering. And I'm sure there's no way I can accidentally fall off that cliff down there. No. Not like modern day games today. As soon as you enter the room, you find yourself surrounded by darkness. Suddenly you become aware of the fact that you cannot move or speak. A strange, unknown force has taken over. Oh. A massive hologrammatic image appears before you. You sense that you are the only life form in the area. So this is all about Scientology. Well, he's using his magical janitor senses to tell him that he's the only life form there is. Ooh, Scientology. Yes. I think this is your line. Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Waka Flocka in the house, Jow we wish Yeah, I give up. I thought you were going to go into the Swedish chef there for a second. Work, work, work. It's I think you guys get the idea. Now we're going to do this. Oh. Good oh. lord. Oh. Because of your inability to understand the alien's language, he has sent you back to the surface. Ah, I forgot! Bandersnatch. I have a gadget, right? You do have a gadget. You should eat it. Written on the electronic gadgets of the word dialect translator. On one end is a dial and a light currently dim. Can you turn it on? I'm trying to. You turn the dial. Shut up, you. <laughs> you don't want. To... Nobody likes you. I did a survey of all the fans of this video so far. I haven't seen it yet. They're gonna love me. Oh, God. You turn the dial to the right. The light begins to glow. Don't get hit. Boop, boop, boop. Ah! Oh, dead for sure. The, 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 stop it! You can probably save now. After you do the gadget thing. Or, aha, uh -huh, no, no. <laughs> the, the pattern changed. This game was ahead of its time. Okay. Now that we did the Waka Flocka. We can now actually understand this alien, probably. <laughs> that would have been the end of the game, too, by the way, if I did not have the gadget or turn it on. Yeah, good thing you picked that up out of the random closet. As soon as- no. Wah, 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 wah. Zoran! Did you want to do the alien voice or shall I? You can do the alien voice. So, you have found your way to my hallowed chamber. Mm -hmm. See, you probably should have done it. Probably didn't, oh, okay. <clears throat> I have been monitoring your travels on our planet. It appears that you are up to proverbial I don't even know what that word is. Up the proverbial estuary. The per what's estuary? Without a means of locomotion. You're up you're up shit creek without a paddle. Oh, okay. Ha ha. Funny, funny. I wrote you where I don't get it. You are obviously in need of transportation. That I understand. Let us see if you are worthy of our assistance. Clever. Heh. On the surface lives a beast called Orat. Without the bee. He proves to be a bit of an annoyance on occasion. Dispose of him and bring back evidence of your conquest. Only then will I deal with your plight. 
Good luck, strange one. I don't think he really means that. He would have just helped us if he actually cared. This guy's a butt. So, now we have to kill the Orat. What do we kill it with? And we have a spider droid that's trying to kill us. Spider droid, spider... Um, no one else finds that funny. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Oh, this looks dangerous. Oh, snap. Yeah, there's only so many times we can walk across that. Uh, yeah, the spider droid's back again. Where did it go? How does it transport? These are things I need to know. Well, you can read all about it in my Space Quest fan fiction. Mm. <laughs> uh, I haven't even seen a girl in this game. Yeah, it, it's a lot of Roger making out with the spider droid. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I mean, as long as I come to understand one another, I think that's what's really. Ah! Best. And I bet they're screaming involved. Can I point out? It's not a very terrifying enemy when I get. Oh god, it can you. walk diagonally and I can't! Strut, 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 power strut! Where's the aura at? Where's the aura at? Have you ever felt like you're just going around in circles? Oh, snap. Oh, he gets stuck on rocks. Boom! Okay. Well, that's <sighs> good that that happened. I can't remember where the Orat is. Orat, where are you? Oh, God! There's a cave somewhere in this area. Aha! It won't follow me into the desert. Oh, yes, it will! Oh, God! Dead. For sure. <laughs> oh, no. Somewhere there's a cave. Yeah, it's not a very convincing little walk. I, that's, a, that's a cave. I see a cave. Um, no. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, good. Ba -da -da -da. The cave interior now features a lovely new jagged metal liberated entrails motif. The stench? Woo! Not even an all-text adventure would attempt that description. That's lucky. You didn't even have to hide. The other way is to drop a rock on the spider droid and then come in here and throw your can of dehydrated water at the Orat, who then explodes because of the pressure in the can. All that's left is this piece of Orat. <laughs> get, get chunk. What's it called? Reaching down, you take the Orat part. <laughs> it, it, it accepted junk into your hand. Some of it oozes to fill the space between your fingers. Every Friday night. <laughs> that's, that's horrific. And again, because I am a consummate professional. That was... I can't work under these conditions. You know what? It was the theme from Lex, so it was sci-fi, comedy. It's at least appropriate. Yeah, totally, totally worked. All right, so we got a piece of the Orat. Which piece? We're not going to say. But it did ooze between your fingers when you picked it up, so... So we, yes, we just have to turn this this piece of Orat into the giant floating head. The disembodied head will certainly help us now. Oh. Uh, God, what was the name of the alien master in Third Rock? Oh, jeez. It was the giant floating head, right? Yep. Okay, so we got to turn this piece of, uh, of Orad into William Shatner. That's a really dated reference. I like it. And then there's an action sequence, and then that'll be the end of this video. Action sequence. And it'll also be half of the game, so we're really booking. I don't think we can go across that bridge again. If you go across it too many times, it just collapses. And this is the downside to using that water to blow up the Orat, is then you don't have it, and you can die of thirst. I'm not going to make Rachel read that again. The memory of her reading it the first time will live with me forever. As 
it should. Oh yeah. Sorry, what? Walk, 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 walk. Your face blends into the background. It's camouflage. Woo! Yeah, I noticed all the fries are gone. It's <laughs> fine. I don't look like I'm starving to death. All right, so now we got to go through this again. It's here. I just have to put it in my I'm not going to say that. I like how it doesn't grab you on that last corner there where you have to walk down normally. Okay, it probably doesn't have any eyes. And if it does, it probably has tentacles for eyes. But it protects, protects the entire grid except for that one part. I don't point out your shortcomings. Yes, you do. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Blatantly lying to the people at home. They don't know me. I could be whatever I want. That's true. You could be Tutu Maker. <gasps> <laughs> the look of sheer rapture upon her face. Hey, how about I save right here? Oh, oh no, the pattern's different. Nailed it. <sighs> I like how they make you do this again, just to make the game longer. Well, technology was simple back then, and they had to do something to pad out the game. Wham. Again, a massive hologrammatic image appears before you. Hologrammatic? That's too. So you have returned. Fortunately, there is much more to you than meets the eye. Hey! What are you trying to say? I look like a loser? Yeah. Oh. That's fair. Drop before me your proof of Orat's defeat for my inspection. <laughs> Drop chunk. <laughs> you dropped the Orat part to the ground. The vision is silent. You are startled by a rumbling, and suddenly an oddly shaped door comes into view. It opens slowly. Did you just bring us Orat junk? You hear a voice, different this time, beckoning you to step forward. Step forward. Oh boy, cylinders. Pumping cylinders. Pump, pump, pump it up. <laughs> Please don't be alarmed. We intend no harm. We are a peaceful race. We are cautious, however. Others don't share our way of life. Welcome to my Corona. You are standing in the power generation facility of our underground settlement. All power here is produced by steam. That is unimportant to you, however, then why? Super unimportant. We have promised you transportation. It's about time. It is a skimmer. Mm. It hovers approximately a half meter off the traveling surface. This is very important because of Grell. Oh, yes, Grell. I understand completely. Yep. Grell and his like dwell in the caves below the sand. If you stand on the surface too long, you chance becoming a rare, moist meal for him. I don't remember Grell. The skimmer is programmed to take you to the settlement on the other side of my Corona. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Called Eulens Flats. You can make further travel arrangements there. I'm sorry, this is all we can offer. I hope your trip is a safe one. Board the skimmer when you are ready to depart. Good luck, strange one. That's all we get for killing their freaking, like, fell beastie of an enemy. To be fair, it was kind of an accident that we killed him. No, no. That was all on purpose. Get on? Is it like... Yeah. It's totally like a segue. You are already aboard. Well, that's great, but, uh... Drive! Move! Go! Say what? Use! It is not currently one of your options. Um, leave this wretched place oh, behind you. I forgot something very important. Oops. It's very important. And I seem to have been locked in. No, but it's very important. Uh oh. Good thing you saved before this, right? I think I saved when I was sitting in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll take that. Oh my god. Insert. Yeah, Wait. yeah, yeah. Keep going. 
<laughs> the cartridge snaps neatly into the slot and the screen comes alive. Whoa! Whosoever shall read this, my name is Dr. Slash Vohal. I am a scientist with the Star Generator Project aboard the Star Lab Arcala. You need to come up with a different word for star. <laughs> We have just successfully completed development and testing of our star generator. During this time, I have come to believe that our progress has been monitored by others. I fear the Syrians may learn of our mission. May have learned of our mission. If my fears prove true, the star generator and the people of our universe are in serious jeopardy. The star generator is a miraculous device used as intended. It will help preserve life for eons to come. Used as a device for evil, because who would ever do that? Evil. It will cause the destruction of millions of lives and enslave all who oppose the Syrians. Encoded within this cartridge are all plans and specifications for the construction of the Star Generator. Should any disaster befall the Star Generator project, scientists would be able to create a duplicate of the Star Generator with this information. Please guard this with your life. Return it to the Xenon ruling body as quickly as possible. Important note. The Star Generator is capable of self-destruction. This was introduced in the system as a precaution. To activate it, one must enter the code 6858. That's going to be important later. A five-minute timer will begin to count down. Beware, anyone within five kilometers of the Star Generator will be in danger once the timer has been initiated. Please be careful and good luck. It's a really lovely message. And now you see why it was very important that I do that. And again, if I did not think to use the, the, the cartridge in that computer at this time, I would never have access to the self-destruct sequence. I would get all the way to the end of the game and then be like, uh... And everyone dies again. Hope you didn't save over your one save continuously. <sighs> Let's try this again. You turn the key. Uh, ha ha! They didn't give us a key though. It was already in the ignition. Mm. Maybe if I looked at it. Mm. Except then I gotta find out which version of look at it wants me to use. And suddenly the jet turbines begin to whir. Atomic oh. batteries to power. Turbines to speed. The skimmer begins to shake beneath you as its platform slowly moves on into the launch tube. Oh, I should have had her read that line. Tube. Slowly. You can't help but wonder what you've gotten yourself into this time. What a lovely mess you've gotten us into. You nervously hang on. The skimmer rises slowly to the surface of the planet via a secret passage. I would say via. You say potato. I say potato because everybody says potato. Upon reaching the surface, you throttle up and zoom off into the sunset. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. oh, this looks really annoying. Oh. Good. Oh, and you saved right before then, too. Hold on. I did save right before then. <laughs> oh, God. Did it still insert the cart? Yes. I guess so. Okay. You could check your inventory just to be certain. Here's what's going to make doing that possible. Something about a tube. Okay, you might want to save, like, after we ride off into the sunset. <laughs> See, I like the fast speed for walking, not for arcade sequences. So after I do this simple little sequence here, save. the settlement on the alien, the, 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 Words and things horizon, let's go. All right. Wom. Wom. Wom, 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 wom. Oh, sorry. Wrong sound. I don't think that's what we're going for here at all. The video will end as soon as we reach Ulan's Flats, which... Which is a terrible name. <sighs> this is space. Oh! Minor damage. Okay, so we didn't die because of that. Well, why are you resetting? I'm saving. Uh... I'm saving our progress so far. Don't do that. Oh! Anybody else getting Leisure Suit Larry 3 flashbacks? This is going down the river. Oh, no! Why? You know what? I don't understand. Why are skimmers getting hit by these tiny rocks? What if I just hide over here for a while? It might learn and adapt. 
I don't think it's an amiibo. Or it won't, and we'll be fine this whole time. <laughs> Hack swords. Oh, oh. Sh bad spot. Alright. Really? Perfect. This video is never gonna end. <laughs> the end of this video brought to you by Rocks in the Desert. Space Quest 1. Rocks yes. If you guys take anything away from Space Quest 1, I want it to be this sequence. Just keep going. Who cares? We can make it. We just have to believe in ourselves. This goes on like 12 rocks too long. And don't forget, I have it on the very slow setting just so I can actually pilot. So it's taking a lot longer than you'd think. This was a good area. Oh, no. Damage situation critical! This is where rage quits were born. Oh my god. It doesn't look like the settlement's getting any closer. It's almost like we're just moving across a pixelated screen. This is not how an adventure game works! Oh, but look at all the adventure we're having. Adventure games should not have action sequences! And dead. Well, now you know what happens when you die. You become an ostrich. Had you eaten a few less donuts during the mission, you might have cleared that rock, Roger Tudu Maker. Uh, I haven't had any donuts this entire game. That is just rude. Oh my god. Let's do this again! As long as nobody has a blue shell, we're fine. This must be riveting for the viewers at home. Save every two seconds. Two rocks. Oh, three, four. Ah. Oh. All right, we know we get one more accident. One more accident. <laughs> Maybe you should create a Jeff 2. Jeff 2 is for the second video. Well, why not a Jeff 1.5? That's an option. But I believe in us. Do you not believe in us? No. That That's fair. That's actually really fair. I have stopped believing. Journey will be disappointed, but... No! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The corner's a nice place to hang out, but then there's no way to avoid a rock. You just can't get out of the corner in time. The skimmer is... This is worse than a segue. Yeah, can I point out the thing's supposed to float over the surface? These are not big rocks I'm hitting. These are little rocks. You'd think the thing would just, you know, bounce over them. Skim over them. Like the name says? One would hope. Oh. You know what I can do? Is I could re-edit this entire sequence and speed it up and put Benny Hill music under it. That might make this more entertaining. But then we would sound like chipmunks. I'm okay with that. I mean, I would sound like a chipmunk. You kind of already do. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's the only thing I've ever wanted in life. Mission accomplished. Oh my god, this is still going on. <laughs> Are you even getting points for this? No. I don't know. I can't watch the points. I'm too busy looking at you rocks. You don't get points for avoiding rocks. Like, you're just at 80 of 202. Woo! Jeez. That was pretty intense. No, you managed to success. <laughs> it was feeling that way near the end. You successfully navigate through the treacherous boulder field. Those are not boulders. Not boulders at all. And you are quite relieved to see that you've reached the settlement. That is true. Oh, this looks familiar. It's like a den of yes. Easily, a hive of villainy and scum. There we go. The I, I was I was for. a little disappointed in you. I got it. All right, that is the end of the first video. We are about a little more than halfway through the game, I think. So, this my, this whole LP series might only be two videos long. Hooray! Woo! We'll see you guys next time.